I'm back with week four of part two. So there will be a little bit of a change because it's only a one page layout and I don't feel like doing voiceovers for this video. So I wanted to do um, real time. And I pretty much prepared everything. And as you can see, I've already done three because there are people in these photos that one, I don't have permission <laughs> for and um two i don't feel like asking for their permission and plus um i'm not really in contact with these people so anyways um so i also did some of the stuff that would take a lot of time like doing the alphas and all that so i'll just explain in this first part i just added a green washi tape and a label and just wrote their names and then here in this photo I just added this music um, washi tape at the top and then here's my journaling card that does have their names on it so that's why I covered it so <clears throat> let's get this started because I also before I forget I also wanted to squeeze in just a very small haul that I, I bought some stuff to, well, I didn't really, well, actually, I did, I bought half of the stuff, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into the first um, 4 by 6 So, <clears throat> I had a photo of this Tunda White Ice, and this is the pink one, because there's a blue one. I don't know how many colors they have, but I know there's a blue and a pink. And here is... Um, because you can see it's very dark. Most of these photos, especially the ones that were on the same day, they um, are very dark. So with this one, I wanted to cut it out and give it more color. So I already cut them out and I already glued it, blah, glued this on the paper. And I cheated just a little bit because I did mention that I I was only going to use the Kiwi edition on this week. However, I don't have um, really good 4x6 to go with um, what I was trying to do because I wanted to play off, for instance, on this photo there's a bit of yellow, so I wanted to use a full yellow pattern. So these two patterns are from the American Crafts Everyday 6x6 pad that I purchased at Target. I think last year so yes this is the only thing I cheated on but the rest of the other stuff is um, the Kiwi edition so I already added the black alphas that says yes please with the exclamation mark and now I'm gonna cut these out and then just glue it on here so like I said I, I picked the yellow to play off of that previous photo I showed you and I picked this paper as for to layer the beer. <laughs> and um, because I wanted to use some of the colors that are in this layout, like a little bit of green, a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue. So this paper goes really well. And to be honest, I don't really like this pattern. And I'm trying, I think I'm doing a really terrible job of trying to get just a little bit of this pattern into... Um, the background of the photo but that's okay so on to the drink um Tonda White Ice is okay it's not my favorite I prefer Red Horse or San Mig Apple and to be honest I'm more of a beer girl um, of course this is beer it's not uh, a cocktail but it's just not it's not a beer that I would order again, <laughs> but I would probably try the blue one um, when I, whenever I do um, go back to the Philippines. So I'm really glad that this actually fits because I was really worried that it was going to overlap on the please. So now I'm going to put some adhesive on these pictures.
if you guys prefer me to do the voiceover and speeding on my video so you can see everything that I did, please let me know in the comments below. Because sometimes this is, I feel like this is a really um, great thing to do, to do real time and talk at the same time so you don't have to put extra work into it. So I already glued those in and... I'm I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't put I didn't cut just a little bit more of that paper, but like I said, that's okay. So there's a space here that kind of bothers me, and I'm not sure if I should even put this green like it a lot sticker. Um, it wasn't like I don't know. Mm, yeah, I'll just add it, man. You really have to use up your, like, all your embellishments. Because I have so much embellishment that I really need to use up before. Because I keep buying and buying and buying. And it's like I hoard, hoard, hoard. And I know I'm not the only one that does that. But <sighs> you got to use those embellishment, girls. Got to use them. Don't hoard. Hoarding's bad. <laughs> So that's pretty much it for this um, photo. It came out okay. I like it. It's okay. So onto this photo here. This is the inside of the Gollum. And it's really close to my grandmother's house. I, I was really happy. I can act you can actually walk from my grandmother's house to the Gollum. And it's a very nice karaoke place, but very expensive. Like I think like 250 pesos an hour. Um, it may not be expensive in American dollars, but to think as a Filipino, it's very expensive. So I did go there, I think like twice. So I already added these blue um, alpha stickers and I will be adding this silver, blue and white music note right next to it put it like right next to it or just a slightly above which i think i will be doing and that's pretty much it for that photo i will slide it in to the pocket sometimes i really don't like i to be honest i don't like how they design this design D. Like, I think they should do the opening on the top instead of on the side. That's just my opinion. I mean, this is okay for the four by six, but I just wish these were opened on the top. But anyways, back to the layout. So the next, hmm, yeah, I'll just do this one. So this one is just going to be super, super simple. I will get my Tim Holtz. Love this. And I will be adding these wood veneer hearts right next to that Polaroid because I love Polaroid. My grandmother still had this Polaroid camera in her house and I was really happy she gave it to me. However, it's probably ruined because of the flood that happened that year. So, I try not to think about it. And I will add the smaller one just slightly above. Um, it's okay. And now I have to... Where's my scissors? So... I really don't like when these staples stick out because I'm worried that they're going to ruin the other side of the photo or the protector. So I always have to make sure that they're pressed in really well. And that is pretty much it for this photo. Simple. Very simple. Because sometimes, you know, you, you, try, you have to try not to over embellish because it just overwhelms the whole page. Okay, so on to this 4x, I mean 3x4. 
So what I did is the washi tape I purchased at Hobby Lobby with the gold hearts. I painstakingly <laughs> cut each heart out because I didn't want to use the white background and just stick it at random places on this card. And hearts is supposed to show a little bit of the pink but that's okay it's okay to show because i noticed that for the music sticker i use they're silver so i'm like okay i might as well put just a little bit of gold just a tad bit and the gold and pink look really well and then i will be adding this bubble die cut that i already used my dymo on because i screwed up when i tried to hand write whatever i was gonna write and I didn't like how it still showed up the part that I messed up. So I had to color that part black with my Sharpie and left this part um, orange. So not exactly how I wanted it, but that's okay. Like I said before, don't stress over this stuff. It's not supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be stress-free. And you let your creativity out. Because it's really important to, you know get away from all those uh, things in life that you really don't want to deal with like right now for instance <clears throat> but anyways um, so I will just add some adhesive to this and put it right in the middle of the 3x4 card So I put what are the two things I love most because one, the other side has the Polaroid and the other 4x6 you will see that has a picture of me and Gamai. So that's the reason why I wrote that. Okay, so last photo very simple i will just add this washi tape now i don't know if i want to add this one with the polka dots and the frill because there are some polka dots on this pillow or this furniture here so i thought maybe i could play it off from that <clears throat> or use red frill or lace whatever you would call it um hmm. Hmm. i think i'm gonna use this one because i don't want too much pink going on because he, i'm here um let's just call him ray <laughs> ray is wearing a red shirt so i might as well play that color off and use this right here on the bottom of the photo. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. it for this layout. 